I had a question recently from a Sage 50 user who wanted to be able to launch a Sage 50 company directly from his desktop. What was happening was he'd open Sage 50 and then he'd have to wait for it to open the last company that he was in so that then he could go to the file menu and choose the company that he really wanted. Now the first thing you could do in that situation is go to the options menu and turn off the option to start with last open company. That way you'll be prompted to choose a company each time you open Sage 50. Uh, but let's close it and uh, look at how we can actually create the shortcuts that he wanted. So here's your Sage, Sage 50 shortcut. And if we go to properties on that, right click in properties, then you can add the folder name for a company after the command is started here in the target line. And uh, then it will automatically open that company. So let's cancel. We'll open this up again because a lot of you won't know what the folder name is for your company, but it's pretty easy to find. Um, first of all, in the uh, open existing company window, you can usually see the folder name there. But if we click OK and open up the company, there's even an easier way. Um, so if we go to the maintain menu and down to company information, then here in the directory field, everything after the last backslash is the name of the folder that this company is stored in. So if you highlight that, right click and choose copy. Now we don't even have to remember it to paste it. So let's exit Sage 50. And we'll right click on our shortcut and go to properties. And then we'll go to the end of that line after the quotation mark, type a space, and then in, put in the name of the folder. We'll click OK. Now let's create a shortcut for another company. I'm just going to drag this with my right mouse button. And we'll let go of the menu choose up. shows up. We'll choose copy here. And then we'll go to the properties for, um, for that shortcut. And we're going to go over here and put a different folder name in for another company. And we'll click OK. So this um, one that I just set up is for my payroll company. So if I launch that, it'll open the payroll company directly. And then I can close that. If I go back to my first shortcut and launch it, then it will open up my premium test company. Now you'll notice that I did close Sage 50 in between there um, because the shortcuts will only work when you don't have Sage 50 open already. Um, if you want to open a second company or multiple companies, you can go to the file menu and open them from there. Um, but the shortcuts only work uh, for your first company. Now, the other thing you want to do so that you can keep all these straight is rename your shortcuts. Um, so if you right click on one of the shortcut, shortcuts you created and go to your rename, then you can just type in uh, the company name on there so you can tell all your shortcuts apart.